Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this Hearthstone Battlegrounds Hero Guide, I'm going to take a look at Syndragosa. Syndragosa is one of the newer heroes in the game. It has passive hero power. At the end of your turn, frozen minions get plus one, plus one. So that means that when you're in your tavern, you're purchasing minions, you can freeze the minions to have those same minions available for you next turn. And whenever you do that, the next turn those minions show up again, they have plus one, plus one more stats than they used to have. And in practice this means that Sindragosa, especially early in the game, really, really wants to freeze the tavern. Sindragosa's power spike comes on turns 3 and 4, because you buy a minion on turn 1 and you freeze the tavern, on turn 2 you level up your tavern and you freeze it, on turn 3 you have the option to sell something that you already have in order to buy 2 minions, you freeze the tavern, and on turn 4 you buy 2 minions from the tavern. So you're going to get a bunch of minions that have plus 1, plus 1, plus 2, plus 2, or even plus 3, plus 3 buffs very early in the game. And you try to use the tempo that you gain from those buffs to win a bunch of mid-game rounds and have enough time to build towards your late-game composition. It's just important not to get too attached to the buffed up minions from the early turns, because they are, after all, mostly tier 1 minions. And they will all eventually be replaced, but they're just a nice bonus that can help you win a bunch of rounds in order to get to the late game ahead of everyone else. Syndrogos' hero power doesn't do much in the late game. Sometimes you can get some like magnetic mechs, a little bit buffed up versions of them, but mostly the use of that is in the early game. And that makes Syndragosa like a tier 2 hero, because early game tempo is very important, and Syndragosa helps you a lot with that, but it doesn't have a lot to contribute for the late game. If you enjoy this content, you can support the channel by joining as a subscriber or as a member on YouTube, and joining as a follower or subscriber on Twitch. And now, let's go take a look at Syndragosa in action. Oh, we're going to play Syndragosa. My patchwork is statistically stronger, but Syndrogos was surprisingly funny. Yeah, all but Finley. Finley is terrible, but all the others are good. I mean, Bran is probably the best hero in the game right now. It's just incredible. Hey, my favorite commander is back. Ready to get started? Ready to get started. We buy the Alicat now. Play that one over there, and then we start freezing this board. So these will have a little bit more stats when it's time to buy them. We'll see if there's going to be a Murloc to buff with that or not, but who knows. Demon Shield Taunt Minion, that's going to get fairly powerful. Terror can also be really strong with the hats, but let's see. I always get the Murlocs for some reason. Yeah, me too, it seems. And I have not been able to roll a single good Mega Megasaur over the past day. Well, most of the time I haven't even found one even with three Discovers. Okay, we go to the next tier and we keep freezing. We just keep this stuff frozen. It's another draw, and we're we're really fine with drawing. I've got some fresh oh, that's a terrible minion, isn't it? We sure freeze again. I'm going to sell the tabby cat. What do I buy? I mean, I'm buying the righteous protector. Do I buy two righteous protectors? This one could grow even more. No, it's fine to buy two of them now. It's, the it's fine. We can do them, put them in this order. This should be okay. Look, subscribed. 24 months. Oh, that's such a long time. Too bad I can't give you a new subscriber icon because two year icons are only for partners. Well, now we're facing AFK on her power turn. And that's what, what that looks like. AFK just got the power turn. Also didn't even upgrade the tavern, but went for even more minions. Really alright, alright. 
And we're totally freezing these again. But I do have to buy two of them. That one might make all the difference. I think I want some attack on the Seer. So I play them in this order. Next turn I can pick up that Seer. Give them some health too. But I have Murlocs again, and I'm facing a scavenging hyena again. Come on, snipe the hyena. Kill the hyena. J just kill it. No, it's too late. It's not too late. I actually... It's going to be a draw, right? No! With the right RNG, I, I actually had enough power here to win that. Sintra goes a hero power. Yeah, you freeze the minions and then next turn they're bigger. So Sintragosa is all about freezing the stuff all freezing the stuff over and over again. I don't really care too much about the Tide Hunter. None of this stuff is actually that awesome. I mean except for this seer. So I'm not freezing the board now. I'm scrubbing that seer here. So I got a 5, 8 and a 3, 6 and a 3, 4, and I have two pairs. And I have one token that's basically currency. I can sell that away in order to do things. Yeah, at the end of your turn, frozen minions get plus one, plus one. So you just keep freezing. Keep, you freeze like the first four turns with Sindragosa. Okay. And well, that's going to be a win at least. Sweet. And then you can pick up some of these buffed up minions in order to get a nice mid game. Good at this. Two triples. We're going up a tier. And we'll just freeze this. Then I'll pick up the double triple. I get two tier 5 discoveries. And if those discoveries... If I can find like a Lightfang Enforcer out of two attempts, then I will build a menagerie board. I get two attempts to find Lightfang Enforcer, so we're totally doing that. Because that's the way games are won. People who actually find that stuff, they win games. Okay, so far so good. Alright. That's a draw. I take it. Draw's not bad. Okay, then. Attempt number one. For a light, f light fang enforcer. No, but it's a brand. We take the brand. We play the brand. Attempt number two. For Lightfang Enforcer. And no, it's not. We take the Cauldron. And then I'm buying this Cave Hydra. I'm freezing that board. Cold in there first. Cave Hydra second. And those are anti cleave. Okay, so Coldrin dies, Cave Hydra becomes bigger and cleaves than the relatively big Murlocs. Not sure where I'm going from here. Am I going beasts? Am I trying to do something with Bran? You need answer to draws other than not damaging the opponent. No. There's there's no downside. Unfortunately the Goldrin doesn't die. There was one minion that where Goldrin doesn't die. And Goldrin hit that exact minion, the only minion where it doesn't die. And these are hitting all so that What? Well, Every hit went wrong, but we still win. It's cool. 
At least that last hit didn't take 5 damage away. Can you control Murloc, discover a Murloc? Yes, please. That one is going to get sold. We're discovering some Murlocs here. Toxfin seems nice. Hunt seems nice. We sell that one. We make a poison a Murloc. We make it a little bit bigger. So, oh, we can sell the deal. We play the Menagerie Magician. I'll play the Scavenging Hyena. I'm not sure whether I'll use it or not, but we'll find that one out soon enough. We get some buffs going. No battle cries here. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. No battle cry. Well, there is one Murloc battle cry over there. This is a really strange mix of stuff, though. I think I'll grab that one. Let's give that one a little buff. I can roll again. I can freeze those. Something like this. Trying to get that cave hydra to be a little bigger. Because big... No, I, I can't kill this one again. I really wanted to kill it. Because I want the cave hider to be bigger. It doesn't buff anything else at the moment, but even buffing that isn't too bad. <laughs> Why is every every small minion I got hitting the security over? But I guess it doesn't matter too much. This is still a win for now, but the sport is not strong enough to go to the late game. We now have a fine mid game board, we don't have a late game board yet. Really so we're weight. buying the lookout. I might buy a rat pack, I'm considering doing something with it. But first we're discovering some murlocs. Yeah sure, cold light seer is fine. Two cold light seers is fine. Sell that one. I'll play some cold light seers and sell them away. Buff up stuff here. And Beast Dragon Murloc. Yeah, we take that. We buff up stuff. And then. One of these is poisonous, the other one is not. So we take that. We make the other Murloc poisonous too. Sell that away. This is the moment to give up on this rat pack. Yeah, we just sell that away in order to buy the Vermin Sensei. So the Vermin Sensei is then going to buff up the Cave Hydra. So something like this for now. I probably need to go to the next tier next turn. Try to find some better stuff. Hi, Dot. Oh, my cave hydra died. Feels bad, man. I like that cave hydra. It was fun, cave hydra. Don't, don't hit into that one. Just anything but that. Don't hit into that one. No, well, I still win. But every hit went wrong. So, this is not lethal because I'm not at 5. If I didn't lose all the all the hit rolls there, I would have actually killed Toki. No, I didn't. We need to go to a higher tier. Oh, Primal Fin Lookouts. like Primal Fin Lookouts. Okay, we're discovering some Murlocs. We we'll discover some buff Murlocs here. I mean, I do love an amalgam, right? Kind of. Kind of, anyway. Sell that, buy that. Discover more murlocs. Buff murloc. Another buff murloc. 
I could go for the amalgam. Yeah, I can sell the Righteous Protector now. Selling the Righteous Protector, getting the amalgam on the board. Start buffing up the amalgam. Discover tier 6 minion. And Gentle Megasaur is okay. So I sell that. I use this also to buff the amalgam. Sell that. Gentle Megasaur, double adapt the Murlocs. Two of them already have poisonous. We go for Wind Fury and Divine Shield, yes. Wind Fury and Divine Shield, yes. Then what else can I find? There's another buff. We buy the buff. We buff up the Amalgam. Amalgam doesn't have Taunt yet, but I will get Taunt for that eventually. Alright, we will get taunt for that one eventually, and in the meanwhile, the poisonous divine, poisonous, poisonous wind fury murlocs are trying to just kill stuff. Alright, we are successfully killing stuff now, but I need more. I still need more. None of these have battle cries. I want some good battle cries. None of these have battle cries. There's the Light Fang Enforcer. Beast Murloc. Yeah, it might actually work. I could give it a try. Overseer. Buff the Amalgam. Sell that. That gives the Amalgam Poisonous. Buy that, give the Amalgam Poisonous. Sell that. So, Mech, Murloc, Demon and Beast. Beasts, Murlocs, Mech, Demon. We get this one over here for now. I currently have two Beasts. Anything worth freezing here? No, probably not. Going for triple cave hydra? No, I don't think I am. So we can roll. We might freeze these though. There's even another light fang enforcer. So do I just go do I just give up on Bran and go with light fangs? That's an option. Not for this turn, obviously, there's not enough. Not enough gold to do that. Then I would need, want to ditch the gold ring in order to land all the buffs on the cave hydra. And then I would want to find the foe reaper. Well, I have only taken 8 damage, so the health gain isn't that important right now. Alright. Ooh, I managed to snipe one of the scavenging hyenas. That's cool. I managed to snipe them both. Well, that Elise is really, really toast now. Because he lost all the important, she lost all the important minions. And that sometimes happens when you play beasts. And then your pack leader and your hyena get sniped and then what? Then you just die. But I think I am getting rid of the Gordrin here. Full Reaper would be the one that I would like to find. I'm grabbing the other light fang. That's pretty good. This could be a mech that I could use for a time. That's possible. I will sell the cauldron. 
I will also sell the scavenging hyena, I'm not going to use that. I can use it too, but now that I still have Bran on this board, get some buffs going. I can refresh. No buffs here. Press one more time. Now I sell the brand, I buy this, I buff with this, I sell that, I play this, I play this. So then we do something like this. Now double light fangs. Uh, that's plus, si plus 16, plus 16 per turn. It's plus 4, plus 4 for the cave hydra alone. Okay, if I had the Foe Reaper instead of the Security Rover, that would be an upgrade. But this is looking quite promising already. Like oh no, I lost the Divine Shield. Okay, here we go, here we go. Hi, I find it. So then, well, giving the stone would obviously also be useful. But what I'm really looking for is the four reaper, right? I would need to be higher tier to buy that directly. Obviously. These minions also just might be enough. I mean the board, board is getting plus 16 plus 16 per round. I have three divine shielded poisonous wind fear murlocs. It should be enough. Yeah, Caspi, this should be enough, even without the Foe Reaper. Ideally, this would be a Foe Reaper, so that I would have double cleave up front. Weaker cleave first, stronger cleave second. That would be the ideal setup. We're not far from that. There's no Nefarian to take away all the Divine Shields, so... This should be enough regardless. Oh, hit into the poisonous one. That's tough. And there is a mama bear and a pack leader. Okay, so... Well, now there's no pack leader, but there's still a mama bear. This can still be lost. Well, now there's no mama bear. Well, now it can no longer be lost, because there's not enough power. The hyena only kills one minion, then it will die. Okay, well... Is it random who's gonna attack first? The person with more minions attacks first, and if you have the same number of minions, then it's random. I'm going to look for that full Reaper now. I don't even need a gentle Megasaur for anything, right? Right. Full Reaper is the only upgrade. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. What would Golden Brand do? And it makes your Battle Christ trigger three times. Then you can get really insane battle cries. All right, all right. We get that plus sixteen, plus sixteen going. Let's see if you can oh, this is a game where I finally found a Lightfang Enforcer. I have not been able to find any for the past day.
I thought I was... Why am I fighting Keldusad when I thought I was fighting... How did he die? Did he concede or... How did he kill himself? I don't know. Maybe he just conceded. And well, this is a pretty good board, I have to say. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. I'm not sure how much of an improvement even a full reaper would be at this point. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. But it's basically the only Better hire a recruit only potential you. upgrade. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. There's the full reaper. Better hire a recruit while you can. There are some divine shields on that board. We're going for the full reaper here. Sell the security rover. I got the two bot. I can do a hound master on the amalgam. Go ahead and hire what else can I find? Clunker. I can do clunker on the amalgam. Well, this one's not much of a buff, but we can use it anyway. While we're here. And then the full reaper. So now we have the double cleave. We have our own anti-cleave set up here. Taunt minion and two useless minions. We have a small cleave first that takes away... Small cleave first that takes away divine shields. And then we have the big cleave that kills stuff. Selling 1590 rover. Yeah, but... This is got a, you see, divine shields. Now, no divine shields. And then, stuff is going to die. Because it's all about those divine shields. So that I can get all the divine shields away and then I can just swipe. Not that it really mattered in this case, but still. That is the that is the best possible setup. We have the best possible setup here. I don't think I have ever had the ideal board before. But this time we did. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show. Please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.